Hey guys, this is Saurabh Nahar here from All About Technologies and in this video, let's take a look at the new device from U Televentures, the U Eureka Note, which is not yet officially announced. So this is the exclusive unboxing of the U Eureka Note. So without wasting any further time, let's begin. So guys, here is the box pack of the Eureka Note. You can see Eureka note mentioned on the front and this black box is completely blank except for the back side where we have some specifications and details regarding this device. So we'll take a look at the specifications later in this video. The MRP quoted on the box is 14,999 but you can get it for around 13,500 to 13,000 rupees here in India in local stores and it is not yet officially announced. I will also leave all the links related to this device in the description down below so do check out the description. And here is the Eureka Note on the top, as you can see that it is quite a huge device to hold in hand, but we'll keep the device aside for now, we'll quickly take a look at the contents of the box pack first. So inside the box pack you get this pin to remove the SIM tray, and we also get some documentations in here. So talking about documentations, we have SAR information, you also get this screen protector, so that is really a nice thing done by Util Ventures, and they always do that. You also get warranty card, one year warranty, user manual and that's about it. We also get this USB to micro USB cable that will be used for charging as well as data syncing. And this power adapter or travel adapter with USB port and a notification or LED light that to indicate if your device is charging or not. And this adapter is a 5 volt 2 amp power adapter. You also get these earphones which are in your style earphones with a microphone and a button to accept and reject the call. So that is also very decent. So that's all you get inside the box pack. Let's quickly take a look at the device itself. Let's take a physical overview. So on the front, we have eight megapixel camera. We have few sensors on the right side and in the center, we have the earpiece. Now, as I mentioned, the display here is a six inch display. It is a full HD display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. It comes with Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection on top. We don't really have three touch capacitive buttons. Instead, we have three on-screen buttons, which is the back key, home key, and the multitasking key. Now at the bottom, we also have a primary microphone over here, I believe. Now moving on to the right side, we have the power button as well as the volume control keys. And you can see the buttons are not actually made out of metal. Only the bezel around the device is made out of metal and the buttons don't feel that tactile and clicky and I'm not quite satisfied with the buttons on the U Eureka Note. But the design is exactly similar to the Euphoria I would say. Now on the left side you'll see a micro sim card at the bottom over here you can insert a micro sim card and on the top you can insert either a SD card or a nano sim card and that is the reason this device is having a hybrid sim slot. So we don't really have dual sim support and expansion of storage with SD card. We have a hybrid SIM slot, so you can insert a nano SIM card like this. And if you want to insert a SD card, you can insert it like this. So that's pretty simple. I hope you guys got that thing. That was pretty simple thing. Now moving ahead, if we take a look at the top of the device, we have a 3.5 mm audio jack on the top. Moving on to the bottom of the device, we have a micro USB port that will be used for charging this device as well as data syncing. Now moving on to the back side of the device, we have this soft finish back cover, which is made out of plastic. It feels really soft, although it will get smudges easily, but that is how it is. But it provides a grip while holding this device in hand. If we talk about the camera, we have a 13 megapixel camera at the back side with dual LED flash. And we also have a secondary noise cancellation mic over here and they call this ring as a Saturn ring. We also have this fingerprint sensor to lock and unlock the device and also you can lock or unlock your applications using that. We have U Televentures branding and dual speakers at the bottom. Now taking a look at the fingerprint sensor, it is very easy to set up the fingerprint sensor. And if we take a look at the fingerprint sensor, it is actually not very fast. You can see that from the demo over here. It's not very fast compared to other devices uh, priced similarly or even the devices which are priced around 7,000 rupees 
are much faster when it comes to fingerprint sensor. Now, if we take a look at the specifications of this device, this device comes with the MediaTek 6753 processor, which is a 1.5 GHz octa-core processor with 3 GB RAM, 16 GB of internal storage. It comes with 6-inch Full HD display with Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection, 13 MP rear camera and 8 MP front camera, 4000 mAh capacity battery, hybrid SIM slot, Android 5.1 lollipop and a fingerprint sensor. Now, if we take a look at the software of the Eureka Note, you will see that there are very few features or applications that have been added to this device. So it is very close to stock Android. And if we take a look at the applications which are pre-installed, you'll see that only two applications here are pre-installed. Two to three applications are pre-installed on the Eureka Note. So it is mainly having almost all the stock applications from Google. This device runs on Android 5.1 Lollipop out of the box. And surprisingly, it is not running on Cyanogen OS, which most of the U devices used to run in the past. And if we take, talk about the storage, you get around 10.7 GB of storage out of that 16 GB. And out of that 3 GB of RAM, you get around 2.1 to 2.2 GB RAM free, which is really nice. Now, you also get few other features like U Cloud Backup and Diagnostic and Usage. I will talk about all these features in my full review, so stay tuned for that. Let's take a look at the YouTube video playback. So as you can see that the viewing angles are pretty good although I feel that the display is slightly on the cooler side and even the output on the speakers or out of the speakers is really nice and loud. So I am actually impressed with the viewing angles and the speaker on this device although this display looks slightly on the cooler side as I said earlier. Now if we take a look at the camera of the device, this device has a 13 megapixel camera. Let's quickly take some pictures. So let's see how the shutter speed is. So as you can see that the shutter speed is not really fast, a bit slow, I would say. Let's take a look at the pictures. So if we zoom in a lot, you will see that there is quite a good amount of noise in pictures, but I will be testing out this camera in depth. So stay tuned for that. I will be coming up with a dedicated camera review if possible. So do stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe so that you get notified when I upload such videos. And here is the front facing 8 megapixel camera. Let's see how the pictures turn out to be. So the picture looks very decent as I said for the 13 megapixel camera. And I will be testing these uh, cameras both the front and the back camera. And I will be coming up with a dedicated camera review. So stay tuned for that. Now let's take a look at the web browsing experience on the Eureka Note. And I'm loading the uh, yahoo.com in full desktop mode. You can see that scrolling is very smooth as of yet. And even pinch to zoom is very smooth. So overall, the browsing experience seems to be quite smooth. Although it takes quite a long time to load the website. But overall, the experience is quite good in terms of browsing. No issues whatsoever. Pinch to zoom works fine. Scrolling works fine. Let's open a story. And you can see that it loads up the story pretty quickly. Now let's take a look at the CPUZ application. So this device comes with MediaTek 6753 chipset, which is the octa-core processor clocked at 1.5 GHz. It comes with Mali T720 GPU. Uh, we have a six inch display, which is a full HD display. It has three GB of RAM and around 11 GB of storage free after the first boot. It comes with Android 5.1 Lollipop, as I mentioned earlier in the specs. And here are the list of sensors that you get with the Eureka Note. Now also let's take a look at the scores on Geekbench. So it is 690 for the single core and 2977 for multi-core. And 43,755 on Antutu benchmarks. And here is the quick comparison with all the other devices. Now if we compare the size of all these three devices, the iPhone SE comes with 4 inch display whereas MI5 comes with 5.1 inch display and the Eureka Note comes with 6 inch display. So you can see that the Eureka Note is very huge and it is very difficult to hold this device in hand. Whereas the iPhone SE, you can see it is quite comfortable to hold this device in hand and even MI5 is very comfortable to hold in hand because of the 5.1 inch screen size. 
but eureka note is actually very huge because of that six inch display and if you don't really mind about that huge display uh, you should be very comfortable with that but for me six inch display is very very huge and my fingers can't reach each and every corner of the display so i will have to use this device with two hands also as i mentioned earlier we have a soft back cover at the back side which is made out of plastic and you can notice a lot of smudge after a long usage so that is a issue i would say so that was a quick look of the eureka note hope you guys found this video helpful if you did please hit that like button because i almost traveled 90 kilometers just to get this device exclusively for you guys so please hit that like button follow me on facebook twitter google plus instagram snapchat all the links will be in the description down below do check out the description box subscribe to my channel if you want to get notified when i upload more videos on this device as well as other devices and yes, this is Saurabh Nahar, your small watching logies. Thank you guys for watching.